I know it's done. I'm just triple checking. Okay, great. Have all the files been sent? Kyle said he did it. Do you want me to call? Uh, no, I will. Thanks. Hi, I wanted to know if all the files have been received. Emily, enough work. You're on leave. Uh, thanks. Yeah. It's all under control. Right. Go home. Reconnect with the family. If they'll take me. I'm serious. You need to relax. Work was really getting to you. We'll be here when you want to come back. If. When. Say hi to Andrew and the kids for me. Great work. Oh, you too. Now go. So no work, no more research studies, no one else's problems to solve. You alone in this big house, with only your family to bother you. How insane do you think you'll go? Fairly. <laughs> Listen, I just, I want you to relax and live a little. And keep me occupied. Mm, Dr. Valentine, you are a dirty girl. Take me for a ride? Anytime. Can I drive? Never, ever. You suck. Livy, it's not polite to stare. You too, Brian. I count three. How about you, Ella? Affirmative. Can we come away from the window? They're gonna think that we're weird. We are weird. Speak for yourself. Oh, come on, please. You too. Let's be civil and go say hello. Come here, Hunter. Come here, boy. Come here, Hunter. Slow down. Hi, Phoebe. Hunter. He's taking you for a walk. Come on, then. <laughs> hello? Hi. Oh. Emily. This is my husband, Brian. Hi. And our daughter, Olive. <laughs> it's Hunter. Hi, uh, I'm Tamara. We live next door. Yeah, I saw you through the blinds. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> Son, you should see the size of our backyard. It's huge. This is uh, Billy. My eldest, Titus, he's uh, somewhere inside. So do you need any help or? No, thanks, we're good. Uh, well, uh, Billy, uh, if you want to get out of your mom's hair, I'm sure Olive would show you around next door, uh, if that's all right with mom, of course. Um, no, no, we don't want to intrude. No, it's no problem at all. That's what neighbors are for, right? Can I, mom? Please, please. Oh, Billy, he just he just got over a cold, so tell me about it. These kids are like little carrier monkeys, aren't they? Well, uh... thanks, mom. <laughs> it's good to have more kids around, right? So where are you moving from? East. Oh, New York or uh, not that far east, Denver. Oh, I love Denver. The mountains there, are just beautiful. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, if you're finished and, and you feel like it, you should come by. You're All not right. too tired. All right, thanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Nice meeting you. Yeah, good to meet you. Uh, thanks for letting uh, Billy play with Olive. Liv always loves a play date. Great. You ready to die? <laughs> Born ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> You're good. The best. What now? I don't know. Blood Brothers? What? Blood Brothers. She 
cheek on it. Ew, sick. What? It's just a little blood. No thanks. I'm a girl anyways. Let's do something else. You're right. <laughs> So how you liking the hood? Not bad. Huh. Everybody's been really great. Thanks. Oh, hey, uh, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, do you want to carpool to school? We could trade off mornings and afternoons starting Monday, if you want. Yeah, yeah, we could do something like that. All right. All right, Billy, we got to go. We got a lot of things to do. Oh. Billy. Ten more minutes. I don't. Thanks, Mom. Come on, Olive. No, if he's ever a problem. No, no, not at all. I mean, Olive doesn't have a lot of friends that live close by, so it's a welcome break. Well, thanks again. I'll see you Monday. See you Monday. Nine minutes! Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are gone. All except one, and that's little man. For she crept under the frying pan. Wait, don't move. Nightshade, poisonous. Here. I saved your life. You owe me. Thanks. What are those? Allergies. Mow in the grass when it rains too much. You're it. Not anymore. No fair. You're it. Now you're it. Billy here. You must, you're Titus. Right, hey man. It's nice to, nice to meet you. Now I'll get him. Emily! Titus is here for Billy! Just be a second. <clears throat> 64. Yeah, yeah. You might want to take a look at the idle and maybe make sure adjustment screw. Uh, the O-rings might have some cracks. Yeah, yeah, no, I was, I was, I was like about to, uh... Will you teach me? Start by adjusting the main mixture adjustment screw. The what? Kids are out back. Hi, I'm Emily. You must be Titus. Hi, yeah. Um... If you could tell Billy, he's gotta be home now. He's a real conversationalist, isn't he? Talk more? Others could talk less? Watch it, buddy. Did you see the bruises on his arm? Mm-mm. It's just kids being kids. I hope so. Tower seems nice. Yeah. We should, uh, you know, bring over a lasagna tonight or something. Be neighborly. Honey, honey, if they wanted us over, they would have asked. You're already getting cabin fever. What's wrong with being a people person? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just that you said that you wanted to take it slow. That's, that's all. Live a little, will you? Hey. 
I figured you could use something to eat. Oh, thanks. God, the house is a mess. Uh, just, just enjoy it. Thanks. All right. Can we stay? It's late, honey. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Come on in, please. If it's inconvenient. No, no, no. Come on in. A uh, drink? Ah, uh, she would love one. Yeah, anything would be great. Got some wine. <laughs> Flores, huh? Yeah. Wedding? Um, funerals, mostly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, salut. Hello. Thank you. Mm. You okay? I think I... Oh, I'm bleeding. Yeah, oh, I cut myself. I'm so sorry. Mm, that's okay. Um, bathroom? Um, yeah, down the hall. I'm okay. must have chipped in the move. Son, back! They took him. They'll take yours. What, what is he saying? I don't know. He's out of it. Tamara. No, I'm, I'm sorry. You all should go. We can stay if you want. Let's go in. Okay, good night. What just happened? I don't know. Okay, guys, that's all we need for tonight. I may need to contact you again, okay? Have a good night. Good night. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are gone. All except one, and that's little Anne. For she crept under a frying pan. Ladybug,
You two doing okay? You know, last night was scary, but that man's in jail now, so let's not worry. Thanks, but we're jumping in. Oh, no, well, you know that's what uh, that's what alpha males do. Oh, well, I'll make sure to thank him when I see him. <laughs> okay. Uh, alpha males also work on their muscle cars, so I'm gonna. But... I'll be in the garage. This is boring. It's nice spending time with each other, right? Yeah. Hey, Olive. Can I go? Sure. What are you stalking me? Do you ever feel like you're not quite living the life you planned on? It's all just slipping away, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing's new, and there's more behind you than in front of you. Nah, neither. Hey. Hey. Our finest flowers are often weeds transplanted. <laughs> uh, this one, though, I, I don't know if you know, it's, um, it's nightshade. Poisonous can be deadly for uh, children animals. Uh, if you want to dig it up, I'd be happy to take it over to my compost pile. Oh, yes, that'd be great, thanks. So, how are you holding up? Oh, I'm holding. I brought you some wine. Oh, thank you. So I've got a confession. Okay. The man last night was my husband. More recently, X. It's Marcus, the boy's father. We're, uh, we're separated for obvious reasons. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he thinks I tried to take the kids, which maybe I did, but it was only to keep them safe. He called today. We're in the smoothing out part of the cycle. Um, sorry that you had to get in the middle of it. I noticed some bruises on Titus and Billy. They're okay? Kids are resilient like that. It's good to have them gone. And I'd rather have roses on my table than diamonds around my neck, you know? <laughs> so I don't want to get into it any more than that. I just, I thought you should know. How long have you guys been married? 10, almost 11 years. No seven-year itch? It was more like the burning sensation. <laughs> we'll have to do dinner part two sometime. Yeah, I'll try not to have the police escort. Billy's welcome anytime. Same. Thank you. I'll get rid of this. Thank you. Where's I got my hand caught in the fan belt. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, ow, 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 ow. I'm fine. The car's coming along. <laughs> Maybe an I'm okay scream next time? Yeah. Mm. Titus, I just talked to your mom. She told me about your dad. You know, if there's ever anything you need, we're always here. Em's in the people care business kind of a bit. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'll let you get healed up. All right. I'll see you later, Titus. So I just talked with Tamara. Uh-huh. Turns out last night that was her husband. What? Oh, that's crazy. I guess that explains Mr. Conversation a little. Oh, Titus, he's a good kid. He just needs some direction, that's all. Billy seems like he's doing okay. In fact, I think Olive has her first official crush. <laughs> Poor kids. Something seems strange, though. Wow. I can't explain it. Come on. 
Oh, finally has a friend that lives close by. Let her enjoy it. Just relax a little bit. Okay. But meanwhile, what does Dr. Valentine want to do today? <laughs> Not what you're thinking. How do you know what I'm thinking? Am I that obvious? Get out of my head! So how is it? Great. It's terrible, I know. It's, it's terrible, but look, you can't be good at everything, right? If I ever die, will you please marry a wife that can cook? Don't say that. Besides, I'm gonna die way before you. LOL, as the kids say. We don't say that. <laughs> so, uh, the, um, can we move these? Tamara brought them over. They're nice, right? Yeah. Titus says we might have the Mustang running within the week, so. You're never gonna let that car beach, are you? This might be it, no. And what about Billy? Am I gonna have to have the marriage talk with him? Take out my shotgun, rough him up a little bit, what? Dad! Maybe we should do some more stuff as a family, though. Come on, if he wants to play, let her play. You like Billy, right? He's okay. You guys play a little rough, though. Him, specifically. Yeah. He pushed me really hard today. I put him back in line. Got a girl. Did you know anything about the blood on the patio? Billy wanted to be blood brothers, but I told him I was a girl. He cut himself? Boys are terrible creations, aren't we? Yes, you are. Done? Done. Take your plate. Brian. Maybe reconciling? Maybe. Something doesn't seem slightly off to you? Do you want me to go over there? She did say that he called to apologize. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe. Your maybes are always yes. Maybe. I'm not gonna stop until everybody knows the truth. I mean, do you have any idea what I've been through? Well, you need to do the right thing and you need to turn yourself in. When do you take out the garbage? There's blood on the car. What car? On the door. Her husband, there was... There was blood on his car door. Hello? Tamara, hi. Are you okay? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? I, I'm sorry. I just saw your ex-husband leave, and I just thought... Uh, I'm sorry. I just... I was worried. It's all good. Thanks for the call, though. Uh, carpool tomorrow? You, yeah, 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 see you then. Okay. Everything okay? I guess. So are we that boring around here? Or... <gasps> oh, wait, look, someone lit some candles. Someone is a very lucky woman. I am sorry. <sighs> I guess I'm overreacting. Wait, you? Overreact, that's crazy. <laughs> you are. Perfect, ruggedly handsome, the feel good hit of the summer. Did I say perfect already? <laughs> perfect. Sweet. Mm. Thanks.
Thanks. You're welcome. Mm. Losing my appetite. Mm -hmm. Gaining something <laughs> else. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Have you seen Hunter? Uh, probably at back. Hunter? He's not upstairs either. I'm maybe checking in. Okay, Olive, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm on it. All right. Have you seen Hunter? I have not. Hunter! I'll take you today. Really? Yeah. Okay. Come on. You don't want to be late? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, have fun at school, learn lots. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Come on. Carpool, we have more news this week. Great.
Where's the alarm on? Because... I don't know. Are you... Are you okay? Yeah. By the way, have you found Hunter? Honey, we probably left the gate open. He'll be back. He's done this before. He's out there peeing on stuff. That's what he does. You're okay. I'm fine. Good. All right. No alarm. Right here. Hunter! Hunter! Thanks for picking them up. Oh, yeah, yeah, they had a great day. They really get along well together. It's such a relief. Really? Yeah, you know, sometimes kids mesh, other times, you know how it is. It's true. Yeah, it's nice having you so close. Yeah. I just want you to know I really appreciate everything that Brian's doing with Titus. He's really uh, opening up. He's kind of a quiet kid. But, um, well. Everything that's happening with his dad, and I'm working all the time, so. I miss work. Enjoy the time while you have it. Kids grow up quick, and then one day, poof, they're gone. <clears throat> oh, have you seen Hunter by any chance? No, he can't be too far. I guess. I'll see you. Sorry, do you want me to drive to the hospital? No, no don't bother. Just very gentle. No. We're gonna get you fixed up. How are you feeling? Fine. Was it an accident? Yeah, they were just playing. It's part of being a kid. I ever tell you that time I broke my nose running into a fence? So three, four weeks in the cast? Yeah, three or four weeks. We'll take a look at it then. Good night. I love you. Dad? Where's Hunter? He's someplace safe. We'll look more tomorrow. Get some rest. Mom? Yeah? What if it wasn't an accident? What do you mean? I don't know. Olive, did somebody push you? Who, Billy? I didn't see. Are you sure you were pushed on purpose? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. No, honey, you could have been hurt a lot worse. I'm sorry. No, oh, it's not your fault, baby doll. Here. No worries before bedtime, okay? Live from our Los Angeles studios, Channel 8 News. Thank you for joining us. Now our top story. Officials are investigating the suicide of a man found dead in an East Los Angeles motel room early this morning. The body was found by a hotel maid on her cleaning rounds. 
Police right. are treating the death as a suicide, right. but have what? not. Ruled That's her out husband, outside. right? And another news, the 38th annual County That was blood on the car. With a and I don't think that was him driving away. Food, games, and that was him. You missed it. Hey, uh, we're sorry to bother you so late. It's okay. We heard. I'm sorry? About your ex-husband. We, we heard about him that he passed. I, I just saw it on the news, um, so we wanted to... <laughs> I know we're relatively new friends, and I want to get off on the wrong foot, but you must be confused. Oh. We're sorry. We, we, we probably made a mistake. Um, we're really sorry. Come on. Come on. Honey, honey. He's not breathing. My brain is not breathing. Come on. I don't understand. How do you think we should tell Livy? A dog doesn't just die like that. It's in perfect health. Dead. Oh, sweetie. I'm so sorry. continue to when you were a baby you used to pull out his ears and poke him in the eyes and he would just sit there and take it it's like he knew how important you were to us you'll be missed you want to say something Libby Yeah, we'll pull through, you know. 
I don't know, maybe a little part time and help cheer us up. Yeah. I don't know if Billy and Titus want to go, but they have uh, basketball courts there. I don't know if he plays. I'm but... sure they'd love to, but. All right, well, let's settle then. You can catch up on some lost sleep we interrupted the other night. Ten minutes? Thanks. All right. Taking them out? Hey, do we even know that? Are your kids? Come on. Well, what if he does it again? I'll talk to him. We hope so. Watch him close. I, I will. dead in East L.A. has now been confirmed as Robert Johnson, who himself lost his only child in a tragic hiking accident just two years ago. The Sean Johnson case made national headlines and captured America's heart when hundreds from communities in the Denver, Colorado area mounted a three-month search effort. Robert Johnson was found in his hotel room dead as a result of an apparent suicide. Police also say Mr. Johnson was arrested days before his death for breaking and entering in an unrelated incident. Take yours. Pam Johnson. He was never married to Tom. The man last night he was my husband. Hi. Now's not a really good time. I'm just at a loss. Well, I, it's just I'm on the phone. This is our second move in the last two years. We just wanted to find some place we could be a family, you know. But people, some people can't let us have even that. They don't get what family means. You get it, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure, but well, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. We'd hate to have anything happen to our families. So we keep them close. Do anything for them. I'm sorry, I don't really know what you're saying. What I mean is I'm glad you're a friend. It means a lot. Yeah, I'm glad too. Good. I better get back to my call. Talk soon. She lied about being his wife. Look, listen. 
If you were trying to get over a painful memory from the past, would you reveal every detail to a neighbor that you just met? Huh? The child's death was an accident. Come on, just let these people be. What if it wasn't an accident? I saw medication at their house, antipsychotics, and those kids have bruises on them. I don't think that they're safe with her. Okay, then I'll follow it up, and I'll contact child services. You're supposed to make me feel safe. Make me feel safe. If anything else should come up, don't hesitate to contact us, okay? Thanks for nothing. Hello? This is? Well, well, uh, wait, wait, did you, did you say child services? Yes. Yes, I have two sons. his tag. What the hell are you doing? What? Calling child services? I, I never called child services. I was just... Being stupid. Being stupid gets people hurt. I'm sorry. Not everybody has the perfect life that you have. And there are more important things in this world than you, and I would appreciate it if you would just focus on your own family for now, okay? Yeah, okay. Mommy! Hi! Oh, I missed you! <laughs> what do you say? Thank you for taking us. You're welcome. Thanks, Brian. We appreciate it. No problem. All right, come on, guys. We, we have to talk. Okay. I don't think it's Billy. I think it's her. Maybe it's both. Or maybe it's somebody overreacting. I'm not imagining this. She attacked me. She attacked you? She threatened me. I called Iomi. I told him about the bruises and he called child services. Well, wouldn't you be upset if somebody did that to you? Somebody wouldn't do that to me because I don't hurt my kids. And I don't think they're safe over there and we might not be either. Enough! Honey, do you, do you, do you even listen to yourself? This, this, this whole thing, it's nuts. Appreciate it. Thanks. I'll see you later. All right, one cafe mocha vodka volume as ordered. It's just regular coffee. Who's on the phone? Your mom. My mom? I just keep running this over and over in my head and I keep coming back to Tamara. Oh, honey, we have to find something new to talk about. Is it that you're not listening or do you just not care? No, 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 it's not that. I just think that Maybe you're seeing something here that's not there. So you don't get any weird vibe from her at all? I think she's a single mom that's doing her best. Of course you would say that. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Brian, please. You've been flirting with her ever since she moved in. OK, now I know you're losing it. She freaks me out. And I don't want to wait around here to see what else is going to happen. All right, so what? Where, where are you going to go? I think we should go stay with your mom, at least for a little while. Okay, you know what, this is, this is getting ridiculous. Yes, they're weird, honey, but everything is gonna be fine. Trust me. I do trust you, but this is not about you. It's about the crazy person living next door. Look at the facts. She lied about her husband, now he's dead. 
Two years ago, that guy's son was killed, Livy's got a broken arm, and her kids have bruises. But that doesn't mean it was her. I mean, kids fall down. And Hunter? What about him, Brian? Because he was a perfectly healthy dog. But it doesn't mean she killed our dog. And I don't know why she lied about her ex-husband, but it's none of our business. Sometimes things just happen and they can't be explained, but that doesn't make her an abusive mom or a crazy person. No? So what are the antipsychotic drugs for? <sighs> if it happened once, it can happen again. I want to go stay with your mom for a while. Olive, hurry up! We're leaving early! I just... I don't know. You do. Say it. I... Say it. I'm not imagining this. I didn't say you were. You didn't have to. Look, I love you, okay? And we'll get through this together. Morning. Hey, morning. Morning. Everything okay? Um, yeah, fine. Well, I have to apologize for the other night. Oh, no, you don't have to. I do. I can be overly protective, especially with all that we've been through, and it comes out in terrible ways. Your mother, you understand. Of course. You okay to drive today? What? Carpool. Oh, right, sorry, I forgot. Livy's sick in bed, so we're staying home. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, we better get going. Look who's feeling better. It's a quick recovery. Billy, jump in. Learn lots. I will. Bye, Mom. Favor, hand me that uh, that ratchet. Uh, so what's new? Not much. So any new uh, job prospects? Not really. Yeah. And, uh, everybody settled in over there. I guess. You know, I uh, grew up without a dad around too. Probably why I go out of my way to be at home. My family's an important thing. It's everything. Yeah. So, uh, how's Billy holding up, you know, with the moving on? Good, I guess. You know, if, um, if you or Billy ever need anybody to talk to or just, just hang out with, you know I'm right here, right? We don't need another dad. No, that's, that's not what I meant. It's just... My mom always goes off on how we say we love flowers. Yeah, we pluck them. We say we love trees, yet we cut them down. And then some people wonder why some are afraid when they're told that they're loved. Right? Yeah. with Billy? Has he said anything to you about anything that's kind of weird? Like what? I don't know. Maybe things from his past? I don't know. Titus does hit Billy a lot. It's Titus that's tough. Maybe you just play with your other friends today, okay? Why? Just please. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and pack up and then we're gonna go stay with Grandma Williams for a bit. Can you bring my bear? Of course. 
Love you. Love you too. Please let me be doing the right thing. Titus? It's me. Look, I know you don't want to hear it, and I don't know what's going on over there, but Titus is not right. They are not right. I don't know, but I'll call you on your cell. Good song. Yeah, hey, listen, will you hear me, uh... Hand me the gasket. Turn, turn it down a little bit. Thanks, man. You know, the only people I've ever had any kind of real feelings for were my family. Those others, nothing. Sometimes I wonder why I'm like this, feeling nothing. Or someone could tell me. Honestly, I'm curious. What are you trying to say, Tennis? I'm a sick person. I know that. I mean, how could a normal guy do what I did? It's like there was another person inside me. It, you're not. You're not sick. Huh? Oh no, I know. I mean. You learn what you need to kill and take care of the details. First time, you're careful. By the thirtieth time. Titus? 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 No! No! Then? Wanna hurt them? I only wanted to kill them. Sometimes. You all had one neck. I had my hands on it. Titus, Titus, listen to me. Whatever's going on, we can, we can talk. No? We're friends. You don't even know me. Wait, Titus, wait, wait, don't! What do you want? I want you to take your worst nightmares. Don't! And put my face to them. Titus! It's okay. It's not your fault. I saw the light over the confessional. The voice said, That's the first thing you Stabilizing. Broken ribs. Internal bruising. He's in pretty bad shape. 
This wasn't an accident. He did this. Just like the kid two years ago in Denver. Just like the father. Just like Hunter. Okay, look. Those are huge accusations. She could be covering for them. Please, I'm asking you anything. Medical records. They couldn't have gone this long without raising some red flags. Something is not right over there. I have to go pick up my daughter, but I'm begging you, please, just look. I thought my mom was picking us up. It's my afternoon pickup today. Come on, hop in. have to stop at work, but we'll get home soon. Olive? She just left. What do you mean left? Mrs. Moore picked them up. What? How long ago? Not that long ago. Uh, is everything okay?
you doing? Uh, you broke our window. Where's your mother? She's not home. If you know something... That's not yours. Please, whatever's happening... What exactly is happening? Come on. I just want my daughter back. How you doing? Hi. Everything okay? I hope everything works out for you. Yeah, uh, I will... I will have to be over. They took my daughter. What? Tamara picked her up from school. They never returned. They never called, and she's not answering. Olive's gone, and they have her. Hey, it's Iomi. Listen, I need an APB put out for an Olive Valentine. Last seen approximately 3 p.m. in the company of Tamara Moore. Thanks. I'm getting close. I found this in one of their upstairs bedrooms. Johnson's son. The boy who fell from the cliff. Yeah. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she fed them all bread without any bread and whipped them all soundly and sent them to bed. Just like your mom, you know that? What? I don't think I want to go in there. Where else are you going to go? Home. I did not leave that door open. Get a hold of your mom again. Let's hope she's not too worried.
And Olive, I have to apologize to you for everything we've put you through in the last few days. Let's just hope the worst is behind us. Maybe we should go. I don't want to get in any trouble. Hey, Billy. It's time. Bring it over.
Okay, let's go. How do you feel? Uh, still punctured. Well ventilated, I guess. <sighs> oh my... <laughs> it... It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? The car looks pretty good, too. Wow. It's unbelievable. I know you could have finished it yourself. <laughs> yeah, not likely. There's no money for next year's vacation, but... We can drive it anywhere we want. Want to go for a ride? <laughs> you drive. What happened to Never Ever? Don't worry, we're 